YouTube. Just working on this uh, alternator bracket today. This hole here is not a. Uh, they're on the truck blocks. So, you know, you gotta drill and tap that. So, this uh, bolt here will be able to go in and tighten everything down and lock the alternator on. So, today, that's what I will be doing. Getting this thing ready to go ahead and put it in and stay in. So y'all stay tuned on that. I'm gonna put the jack in the um in a small piece of 4x4 under the engine to you know lift it up a little bit so I can level it out. And I'll be using the level here on my drill keep everything you know nice and straight when I'm putting the hole in I'm starting off with a, a one fourth bit and as you can see I got it taped off where I need to stop at which is uh I only need to go like five five eighths of an inch deep so that's why I got the tape marked that on my uh, drill bit so back we painted the motor as y'all can see you know the color was changed to blue so that red was going to be real funky looking under the under the hood so i decided to do the block uh black with silver you know accents for like the, the brackets and stuff like that i might do the water pump silver as well but uh yeah that's what i'm that's what i'm working on right now Uh, uh, nice black was flat. I put a little clear on it, kind of protect it a little bit. They gave it a little glossy, but it's not super glossy. It's like a low gloss, so that's cool. Should sure, you know match with the engine bay pretty decent, and you know overall look clean up under that when I'm finished. Uh, right now, what I'm doing drilling this hole here for the uh, the alternator bracket the truck blocks do not come with that hole so if you want to run the LS1 uh, front end accessories you have to drill that hole so you can run that low alternator but uh that's pretty much what I got so far gotta finish drilling it then I'm gonna tap it, and you know, I'll be done. Got that hole drilled and tapped, as y'all can see. Let me put a focus on it. But it's done. Uh, I had to take it nice and slow, make sure I didn't, you know, drill it at an angle or tap it at an angle. The tap was the hardest part to keep straight. It kept trying to curve on me, but. You know, I kept putting the uh, level on it, making sure it was going in straight. That worked out good. I had my little level up here at the top of the engine, making sure the engine was nice and, and level. The jack with the block at the bottom, holding it up. I um used the level on top of my drill to make sure I was drilling straight. 11 30 second uh, drill bit. Um, it needed to be drilled just a hair over a half inch. It was like 0.6 of an inch or something like that. And I used the 10.1.5 um, um, tap. That worked well. And I got it done. There it goes, kind of showing like see the threads in there. But yeah. I was kind of nervous when I went to bolt the bracket up, but everything went together smooth. Start gripping right there. Put the wrench on it. Hold on. Put the wrench on it. Twist easy. No, no grinding or nothing like that. Which let me know that I did everything nice and straight. So now I can uh, go ahead and mount the alternator. Um, and 
get ready to sit it over in here. This will be the first time I uh, set the engine in with the accessories on. So just trying to make sure I clear everything down in this area here. I don't think I need to notch it like I did on that side for the AC compressor. Hope not, but we'll see. If I do, I do. I'll go ahead and knock that out. But I don't think I would need to with all the research that I've been doing. But uh, like I said, it's, it's a big puzzle. I'm trying to get everything to fit at one time. The headers, the alternator, AC compressor. Uh, what else? That's pretty much it. Trying to get those three to fit together. You know, and keep the uh, engine as far back to the firewall as possible. That's all I'm asking for. So we'll see how that goes within the next couple of days. Uh, but yeah, that's it for right now, YouTube. Got that done. And getting ready to sit that baby on in there. Y'all stay tuned.